Oh, hey. So, this is a new thing I might be doing on my YouTube channel. And basically, what I'm doing is that I'm taking pictures and I'm lazily moving them around for about zero dollars. And this is all for a video called Pokemon Analysis or what I like to call it Pocket Analysis. And basically, this is going to be my new character that I'll be using. If you don't know who this is, it's just a recolor of Labau or Laban. And now that I've given um kind of a small um kind of you notice how I say kind of kind of a small um description of what this is gonna be. I am now gonna get on with the video. So the Pokemon that we're talking about is the one that's currently the most famous right now, which is Wooloo. So as you can see, Wooloo is a sheep Pokemon. And basically, it's a fluffy round sheep with small horns poking out of the wool. It also has two somewhat braided or puffy pigtails. And uh, they're kind of gray at the bottom, unlike its white wool. The body shape is completely similar to a regular sheep body. Another thing I have to say is that this Pokemon looks similar to what will happen to if you mix Marmeep and Skiddo. And then they made this thing right here. So my thoughts on Wolu right now are kind of in the all right area for it because I haven't done any... Right now, I haven't done any researches or, well, technically, my thoughts before I did any research researches is that this was in the all right area. The reason is because this Pokemon looks incredibly normal. As you can see, it's literally just a sheep, and that's basically it. And all I think it really has to offer up is probably just cuteness in its current state. Nothing appealing or bizarre comes from this Pokemon. Which leads me to think that it might be a normal type. Another thing is that I'm hoping that it might be able to evolve. So if it evolves, then it will probably be able to, you know, turn into an electric slash normal type. Maybe even a fairy slash normal type. Even a grass slash normal type. And all these other types. And stuff. The reason I would say is because. The um electric type moves. Will probably come from its wool. So it will probably be able to make like certain moves. Like spark from the electricity that it gets from its wool. And probably the motion. From you know. Rubbing around the wool. Because. I don't know science ion delusion because ion delusion is literally like um it's an electric type move that basically turns your normal moves into electric moves and uh, last discharge because the discharge is basically just you know you, you just basically zap somebody with uh, electricity that's basically it now for the fairy moves Fairy moves, I would say, would probably be, like, nature's madness because, you know, this is sheep, you know, that belongs to nature. But, you know, it's a pretty powerful move. I would say it probably won't learn it in the currency it's in right now, but it'll probably learn in, like, a, a <clears throat> an evolved form. Oof. I'm a little bit sick right now. And uh, for grass moves... I would probably have to say, due to the appearance of it being a sheep, it can learn um, grass moves or ground moves like stomping tantrum because, you know, the, the hooves, the little, the hooves. Anyway, 
the grass moves that I could probably learn is cotton guard because you know wool and cotton also could probably learn cotton spawn sport spore which is also you know another grass move and then lastly I think you can learn horn leech because you know it's 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 grass move also it it has small horns on it so yeah and now that we're done with my small look at it we can finally go on to the little um description that's given by bulbapedia that i have searched up the other day oh no no more electric moves We're just gonna get that for you. Oh, yeah. Okay, now you can get out of here. So, here's the description that we have for Wooloo. Wooloo is a sheep Pokemon from Gen 8, which was, you know, pretty obvious. It's also a normal type. Not only is a normal type, but it has two abilities. Fluffy and Runaway. So, um, if you didn't know, Fluffy comes from its wool. Basically, allows it to um, have, have shave off half of the attack done if it was a direct attack. So, for example, you know, the Pokédex decides that it doesn't want to be a pokedex turns back into roton and it says you know what flame punch what it basically does oh that's that's actually a bad example because the other part reads that it doubles up on fire attack so yeah yeah let's just say thunder punch it decides to do thunder punch what basically happens is that it halves the attack or cuts off half of the attack that would have been done to but if it, you if Rotan decides to turn into a fire type and it uses fire punch, then this gets double the damage done to it, which is very bad. And uh, Runaway makes the user able to you know zoom. You basically avoid wild battles. Um, the height of Wulu is about two feet. So, you know, that that's like, I'm, I'm way taller than Wulu. But anyway, um, also Wulu is supposed to weigh around 13 pounds. So, my final thoughts on Wulu is pretty much the same as before. Nothing's really changed. Um... I think my thoughts might change if it has the sword and shield gimmick with the games. And I hope that Wooloo will evolve into something that's great with electricity or any second typing. And that's pretty much the end of the video. And goodbye these Pokedex boys. And see y'all guys later.